saw a lot of disinformation where um, coyotes, as they're called, uh, so human smugglers, are on, online sometimes saying that this was a ministry of truth, which it, discovery does not look good for them, and that may change the way that they deal with this type of harassment that is begotten by enemies of the Biden administration and, and folks who um, I think rightly have some concerns about how speech is uh, dealt with in America characterized the board in completely incorrect terms. Um, they said that I was going to be uh, a disinformation czar and that the board was going to have the power not only to adjudicate what Americans said online, but to send people with guns to Americans' doors to police speech. Um, and just to be perfectly clear again, not only do I think that is wrong, I wouldn't have taken the job if it had anything to do with that. DHS, as we called them, that not everybody understood them fully and not everybody necessarily agreed with them. And so, you know, DHS was kind of slow in, in responding to the quote unquote criticisms. And as a result, it just got completely out of hand within, within hours, if not days. Uh, you know, my family was receiving threats at the time I was weeks away from giving birth. So in my ninth month of pregnancy, um, and we were getting uh, death threats, rape threats, uh, you know, stuff about my unborn child. Um, there was a lot of intense scrutiny into my family, extended members of my family. What was difficult was that I wasn't being heard within the department, that they had hired a disinformation expert to advise them on these things, and my advice was being <laughs> routinely tossed aside, especially when it had to do with my own well-being and safety. Uh, it was a little bit like being buried alive. Is there a lesson in there for governments around the world? <laughs>